the cloud. Got it. Good morning. Good morning. All right. I think it's going. Okay. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to have three um, components to this. So there's going to be a floor set. There's going to be a set that we're going to do with a chair, and there's going to be a set that we're going to do with the foam row. Uh, for those of you that don't have a foam row, um, can you raise your hand or speak up? Everyone has one? I don't have one. Okay. A what? So, a foam row? Yes. Okay. So um, the ones that don't have it, do you guys have a bath towel that you brought in there with you? Oh, okay. I can go get that. Okay, and I'll show you what I want you to do. Grab two just in case. Okay. Hi, Edwin. Hey, Edwin, do you have a foam roll? Is that a no? Can you grab two bath towels? Yeah, I'm going to grab some type bath towels. Yeah. Yep, that's perfect. LB, hi. Okay. I got my towel. Okay. So this is what I want you to do. Towel. You're just going to fold it in half, lengthwise, then you're going to roll it tightly, very tightly, all the way down. Okay. I know how to, Mom. Yeah, you know how to? I'll go get your own. No, can I do yours? I know so how you, to. You want it pretty thick? And the thing is, of course, towels are squishy and foam rolls aren't. So if it feels like it's going to get too collapsed to this point, add another towel. Okay? Yeah, it was too thin. Then we get your towel. So you just need a towel, the, the foam roll or the towel. You don't need both. If you have a yoga block, you can use a yoga block instead. Okay, we have two more people that just came in. So I'm sorry. Can you bear with me? I'm going to explain this again. Hi, Dwight. Can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Hi, Vin. Can you hear me? I'm sure he can. Okay. So um, we're going to need a chair and a foam roll. If you don't have a foam roll, you're going to grab two bath towels. Mommy needs a chair and the foam roller. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, the first um, set of exercises we're going to do is without equipment, so we're just doing it on the, the floor or your yoga mat. Okay, okay so I'm going to get started. Let's get on your, the floor. We're just going to warm up the entire back to start with, and uh, this one's called cat cow, or sometimes it's called cat camel. So you're gonna be in the tabletop position. Can you guys see me okay? Yeah. Okay. So here, you're going to start with your head up and your butt up. So you're creating this curve on your low back. Head up. And what I want you to do is start by starting from the top of your head to your butt. You're going to curl your head down 
and you're going to curl your spine one vertebrae at a time up until you're completely rounded like this. Then when you come back up, you're going to start from your butt up. So I'm bringing my butt back up one vertebrae at a time. I'm curving it the other way and coming up with my head. Is that clear? Yeah. Good. So let's do 10 of those just to warm this up. Nice and slow. You should feel a stretch, a mild stretch down your back. We spend so much time sitting, and probably more so nowadays, that our back, our low back is mainly rounded. So we want to spend some time stretching it the other way into extension. When you're done with all 10 reps, go ahead and lie down on your mat, face down. Okay. Okay. It looks like everyone's done. Okay. So this next one is the seal stretch. So you're going to put your hand starting with putting it next to your chest and you're just coming right up. Your hips should be uh, maintaining on the floor and your legs should be on the floor and you're just coming straight up. Extend your head back. So again, you're just getting into this opposite of sitting position, back extension. So you hold it there for you know a good five seconds, then come back down. If you can't achieve this position all the way so your arms are straight, you can have your arms bent a little bit. If that's too much, you can do them on your elbows. Good. Extend your head. Let's do that 10 times. You can hold it from anywhere from two to five seconds, whatever's comfortable for you. Alisa, are you okay? Oh, yeah. okay, I see. <laughs> okay. When you're done with the 10, you can just get into a kneeling position. Okay. Looks like just about everyone's done there. Okay, so this next one is going to be a rotation and mainly focusing on getting your mid back to mobilize. The mid back is generally a very stiff part of your spine uh, for good reason, but 
when it's too stiff, it can cause problems. And I've done a seminar on this before and workshops on it, if you guys have attended. But those that have not, uh, the mid-back is kind of like the foundation for your back. And when it's stiff, you start to compensate, especially during lifting. So you'll start to compensate with your low back, your shoulders, to try to get that extra mobility that your mid-back doesn't have. So we're going to work on that a little bit today. So in this kneeling position, if you can sit on your feet, if not, if it's raised a little bit, it's okay. Okay. So you're going to put, let's start with um, the right side. So you're going to put your left hand down, straight down, just like that. Right hand kind of over your ear, the side of your head. You're starting here in this really tucked position. Then you're coming back, you're coming up opening up into the sky. Your gaze is gonna to be towards the ceiling. So you're going up as high as you possibly can. And while you're up there, hold it for two seconds and come back down. You're gonna do 10 per side. So you should feel a stretch on your mid back. Good morning. Good morning, Chelsea. Sorry, I thought it was at 10. It's all good. Hi, Monica and Dan. <clears throat> so if you guys want to join us, the Chelsea, Monica and Dan, we're just doing this exercise where you're sitting on your butt if you can. Your left hand is going to be straight down on the floor. Your right hand is going to be over the side of your head. You're in this tuck position to start with and you are going to rotate and look towards the sky. Hold it at the top for about two seconds. Okay, you're doing 10 reps per side. Some of you may find that you're stiffer on one side than the other. That's okay. Let me know during this time if there's any pain or issues with any of these movements, okay? <clears throat> All right. Okay, once you're done, you can just sit on your butt. Okay, so looks like Chelsea's still working on that one. That one was so tough for me. Was it? Wow. Yeah, your your thoracic spine. Which side? Yeah, my my left. Oh, your left side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think my left side was harder for me too. But that's a really good one to um, get your spine to start mobilizing and and moving better. Okay, so this next one we're going to be stretching the flank. So this side, it's actually called the quadratus lumborum. It's a very commonly injured uh, muscle. Actually, when you get a back injury, those muscles on the side tend to seize up on you and they don't really know how to relax sometimes and it causes a lot of pain. <coughs> so um, let's get into this stretch. Can you guys see me okay? This setup is a little weird. I'm gonna face this way. Okay, we're gonna start with our right leg out. So it's gonna be slightly bent, not all the way straight and not all the way in. Slightly bent like this. You're going to take your right hand, grab the inside of your foot. So inside of your foot like this. Okay. 
the left leg is just butterflied out, okay? So you look like, like this. Can everyone see that? Kind of. Okay, let me see if I can go this way. Is that better? <clears throat> okay, you see how it's, my right leg is slightly bent. My right hand is grabbing the inside of my foot and it's hooking it there. If you can't reach that, you can reach the for the toes or the top of your ankle. Does it matter how we keep the other leg? Nope, okay. not really. If you wanna just put the other leg here, it's fine. <laughs> if you wanna have it in like this butterfly position, that's fine too. Just okay. whatever you want. Okay, so here, 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 you're going to twist away from that right leg and you're gonna look up towards the ceiling. So your, your trunk and your head is twisting to the left while you're holding on to your right leg. Okay, so you're gonna hold that. Let's try to hold that for about 10 breaths. So with each exhale, I want you to just get that stretch a little further. Are you guys feeling it on that side, the flank? Yes. How, how can you make this harder? How can you make this harder? Let me see. Yeah. Like, okay. you, like you to feel the stretch little... more. I don't really feel it. You don't really feel it? You probably don't really have tightness there. Um, let me think. Try to reach your left hand. On Maybe back like, behind you. Doesn't make yeah, a reach. difference keeping your legs straight. Try it. Try it. I feel it the same way on both. I'm not gonna be tight everywhere. What was that? Good. Are you feeling a difference, Audrey? Yeah. Okay. So what I feel a difference with is I'll show you the back of me is if I reach my left hand mm -hmm. or my right hip. If I reach my left hand for my right hip and twist, I feel it a whole lot more. Yeah, I feel it more. It's like, oh yeah. my gosh, struggling. <laughs> wow. Okay, so 10 breaths on each side, just slow and controlled. Just think exhale and inhale three seconds <laughs> in, three seconds out and sinking into that deeper stretch with each exhale. When you guys are done with that, go ahead and grab your chairs. Preferably one with a backrest. If you don't have one with a backrest, that's fine. We can modify. So if my left leg is out and I feel it on my right side, like my right mid back, uh -huh. is that is that like just super tightness there? So your left leg is out and you feel it on your right mid back. Yeah, that's your thoracic spine being really, really tight. That's yep. really your, the vertebrae that are not rotating and that's why you're feeling it there. And if you can't rotate your mid-back to the spine, you're probably not getting too much of the flank because that 
spine is restricting you from getting to that point where you can feel a stretch. That's okay, cool. Sense. Thank you. Okay. All right, everyone's ready with their chairs. Looks like, okay. Great. So you're going to stand behind your chair. We're going to do a thoracic spine uh, mobility extension. It's just really easy. You're just standing like this. Hold on to the backrest. Does anyone not have a backrest? Speak up. Okay. I guess everyone does. You're just dropping this down. Drop your head between your arms. And you should feel a stretch on your mid-back. It's like your mid-back is going backwards into extension. Okay. So you're going to do that going to hold it for about five seconds, breathing in and out. So with each exhale, you're going to sink a little deeper. This one feels amazing. I was going to ask you, John, does this one feel great for you? <laughs> okay, we're going to do three sets of um, five breaths. Let's do five breaths. <clears throat> Longer if you need to. I don't want to rush you just through this one. This one's a really good one. Yeah. Okay, when you guys are done, go ahead and just remain standing on the back of that chair. I'm doing a stretch. stretch. Okay. How did that feel, guys? Okay. Next, we're still using the chair. So go ahead and grab one side of the chair. Let's say, let's grab the left side of the backrest. Okay. So your hands are going to be on the left side. Both, both your hands are going to be on the left side. Okay, this is going to be mainly a, a lat stretch. Okay, so drop down and your hips are going to go towards the right. So you should feel your lat stretching. That's this part right here, the side. Okay, same idea, five breaths, sink in with each exhale. We're gonna do three sets of five breaths. Okay, so hands reaching to the left, hips reaching to the right. You can even do a little tr trunk tw uh, twist. You can twist your trunk and your head to the right and that will even pull it a little further. Once you're done with the three sets on one side, you can switch to the other or alternate, whatever you want. So this is a stretch you can do with a chair or even at, on a door frame, a wall, 
if you can manage to keep your hands on there without sliding. If it's hurting, is it mean because I'm really tight? If, is it hurting or is it like a, a stretch hurt? It's like a stretch hurt right yeah. here. Right there, yep. And like that my is. back right here is like super tight. Yeah, so it looks like right here is where that lat actually inserts. So it comes from down here and it's this big broad muscle that inserts right on the, basically on the underside of the armpit. So if you're feeling it here, that's right. Okay. It also inserts on your spine. So yes. you might be feeling a little bit of the insertion point on your spine, or it could uh -huh. be your actual mid back, the vertebrae. Okay. Okay. So it shouldn't be like painful in a sense that it's pain, but a, like a, a intense or deep stretch, then that's okay. Yes. Okay. Looks like a few are still working on it. I'll give you a few more seconds there. For those that are done, go ahead and sit on your chair. Okay, slide forward on your seat so that your feet are flat on the ground. Okay, so you're going, uh, everyone's ready? Okay, so go ahead and cross your right leg over the left. Okay, like this. Okay, now left hand on the outside of that right knee right hand reaching either the bottom of the chair or the back of the chair or the backrest and you're just pulling to the right so this should get your obliques the flank area that i was talking about and a little bit of the thoracic spine the mid spine so for me i find a deeper stretch when i have my hand on the backrest and I'm reaching as far to the left as I could and pulling myself into this pretzeled stretch position. Okay, again, let's do five breaths. Pulling deeper each time. So your left hand that's on the left knee, you're pulling that, I mean, sorry, your left hand that's on the right knee, you're pulling that knee towards the left as much as you can, while your right hand is pulling you, your trunk to the left as much as you can. How's, how does this one feel for you, John? Oh, you're probably I, uh, oh. I feel on my right side, that same side. Wow. Yeah, you have a very yeah. tight vertebrae there or several yeah, levels. Mm-hmm. When you're done, you can just remain seated. 
Peter, I like your dog. See, it looks like everyone's done. Okay, so this next one, again, you're gonna have your feet planted on the floor. And actually, yeah, feet planted on the floor and let's go for, let's do the left side. So we're gonna reach both our hands down the side of your left leg. So you're reaching to the, the outside of your foot and you're dropping your neck down. And just sink, just sink your chest into your thigh and you should feel a stretch on the right side of that, what I'm calling the flank, that meaty part on the left side, low back. So five breaths, sinking in. Let your arms kind of be like dead arms, relaxing down. When you're done with that, switch sides. Reach your both hands to the outside of your right foot and just sink. When you're done, go ahead and remove your chair. We're done with the chair. Grab your foam roller or your yoga block or your towels that have been rolled up. Get on the floor, your yoga mat. Okay, so the foam roller is gonna be sitting right across your mid back. So it's gonna look like this when you're on the floor. Okay, so that's where your shoulder blades end. That's basically that general area I want you to be, right about there. Okay, or for women where your bra line is, maybe a little higher than your bra line. All right. So go ahead and lie down on it. Obviously your pelvis, your hips are gonna be on the floor. Knees bent, arms behind your head, and you're going to drop your upper body down over that foam roll but I don't want your ribs to flare out too much. So try to keep your rib cage pinned down. Okay, so I want you to do that and basically hold it in that position, that extended position over the foam roll for about three seconds Then come back up and right back down. This might feel very uncomfortable for some of you that have very tight spines or mid back. So let's do about 10 of these reps. On the 10th rep, I want you to hold it for 10 seconds at the bottom and really focusing on the exhale and sinking deeper into that stretch without flaring your rib cage out too much. And feel free to move that foam roller either up or down. 
depending on where you feel your tightness, okay? Play around with it. The thoracic spine has 12 levels. So it's not just that one spot you're working on. When you're done, you can sit up and I'm that way I will know. So it's not uncommon for people to feel sore from this one because it's really bringing you into a position that you haven't been in in a long time. Okay, next you're gonna put the foam roll off to the side like this. Okay. Let's put on the right side so everyone's on the same page. Go ahead and lie down. You're gonna take your left leg, you're gonna rotate your trunk, your lower trunk, and put that leg right over the foam. Just like this. So make a 90 degree angle with your lower leg and your thigh. So your lower leg is really resting on the foam roll or the towel roll. Now, your arms are gonna be, let's start with your arms both collapsed on the right side. And slowly you're going to lift the left arm over to the left side. So you're opening up. This is called the open book. Like you're a book, you're opening and closing the book. Let's do 15 repetitions. Open and close, go slow. And your head is following your hand, the hand that's moving, the left hand. Your goal, of course, is to get that the back of that left hand on the floor. If you can't reach it, that just means that your mid spine is tight. Should be a little looser now that we've done all the other mid spine stuff. Okay, on your last rep, the 15th rep, go ahead and hang out for 10 seconds at the bottom position on that open book position.
When you're done with all 15, just lie on your back with your knees bent. Take your time. Okay, this is going to be the very last thing we're going to do, and it's just kind of to finish it off, and it's nothing hard. You're just going to bring both knees to your chest, wrap your arms around your knees, and just rock. This is a yoga pose, or yoga move. I'm not really sure what it's called, but just rock. Rock side to side. Let's just massage out what we just worked on. In Pilates, they call it happy baby. Happy baby. That's right. That's where you uh, you have both your hands like grabbing onto your foot and pulling your hips apart, right? Like that? I don't yeah. Know. Yeah. You had it too. Yeah, either way, kind of similar concept. Oh. Roll. Okay. Yeah. So rock until you are done rocking and you can come sit up. Okay. How do I unmute everyone? I think we can just do the meeting ourselves. Oh, okay. Go ahead and unmute yourselves and oh, participants and then okay. unmute everybody. That was nice. Thank you, Christina. Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. I'm, you. I'm glad you guys liked it. Did that feel good on your back? Definitely. Yes. Yeah. So relaxed. Okay. Good. Good. So I think this is recorded and you can go back and look at it if you want to, um, okay. if there's anything that you liked and you want to pick out to do on your own. Uh, we went over quite a few today. I don't expect you guys to do, of course, the whole series, but uh, if you want to, go ahead. Uh, it doesn't hurt. So spine health is very important and we don't, um, obviously, uh, with our day-to-day -day busy lives, we don't spend enough time doing it. And with this quarantine, I think it would be would be a great time to work on things that you need help with. Um, if you are, if any of you find that you you were particularly tight or painful or something, and during the session, um, and you want to talk to me, you know how to reach me. Um, I'm on Facebook, and of course, you can get my number from John. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, the other thing I want to bring up is I'm going to do a question, a Q&A session, a Facebook live session. So I'll, I'll do a post on that possibly on Tuesday. So then whatever questions you guys have uh, regarding anything PT related, so pain, injury, uh, rehab, running, lifting, form technique, and what you can't achieve. So I know with some people I'm working on, let's say like overhead spots, they can't achieve that. So what's the problem? So uh, just ask me any questions and I'm going to try to do this Facebook live thing. Um, I'm thinking on Tuesday. Oh, there was something else. Okay. So this is our first stretch session at home. Uh, if you guys liked it, go ahead and comment on it um, on Facebook. Let me know uh, and let other people know so they know about it. And the next one I'll do, I'll probably do uh, hips or something else. I don't know. Calves, hips. So we'll see. Okay. Next Sunday. Um, yeah, I, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'd be great. That'd be fantastic. If we, will this be will this recorded video or session be in the Facebook page or do we go back to Zoom and it's there? 
It'll be in the, I'm going to add it to the Facebook group. So okay. it'll be there under the hashtag on the right. So if you guys look on the Facebook group, you look on the right hand side, there's a little hashtag. So there'll be Zoom workouts. We'll do Zoom stretches. It'll be like live cooking show. So you can click on whichever one you get all the videos there. But okay. also if you're on your phone, like most people are, you have to press the dot, dot, dot. And that's where all the hashtags appear. If you're on your phone. Oh, okay. What about the iPad? I think it's at the very what? top too, right? Yeah, the very yeah. top, right? There's like dot, 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 and you press, and that's where it says like the hashtags and stuff. Okay, thank you. So I am working with people one-on-one -on -one via Zoom too. So if you need a one-on-one -on -one session via Zoom to address whatever mobility, restriction, pain, injury issues you have, just let me know. Thanks. Okay. 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 Thank you. Right. Thank, Thank you. you. Have you. a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.